Hello everyone, I am Aishwarya and you are watching Aishwarya Academy. In our last video, we learnt about Newton Laplace formula for velocity of sound. And today, we will learn about speed of waves in a stretched string and its modes of vibration. First, let us find the speed of waves in a stretched string. Consider a flexible stretched string between two rigid supports. Let T be the tension in the string and M be the mass per unit length. If the string is plugged, transfer waves are set up that travel towards fixed ends. The velocity v of these waves in a string is given by v equals to root over t by m. These waves are reflected at both ends of the string. Then, the incident waves and reflected waves superimpose producing stationary waves. In the stationary pattern, nodes are formed at the fixed ends and antinodes are formed in the middle. The amplitude is minimum at node and maximum at antinode. The distance between two successive nodes is equal to lambda by 2, where lambda is the wavelength, and L be the distance between two fixed supports. Modes of vibration in a stretch string. Consider a stretch string that is plugged in the middle. The wire vibrates in a single segment. Nodes are formed at fixed ends, and antinode is formed in the middle. This mode of vibration is the simplest and is known as fundamental mode. If L be the length of the wire and lambda 1 be the wavelength, therefore L equals to lambda 1 by 2. Since the distance between two fixed supports is equal to the length of the wire, which implies lambda 1 equals to 2L, we know that wave velocity V equals to F1 into lambda 1, where F1 be the frequency of vibration. Getting the value of F1, we get F1 equals to V by lambda 1. Here, substituting the value of V and lambda 1, we get F1 equals to root over T by M divided by 2L, which implies F1 equals to 1 by 2L into root T by M. This is our first equation. This is known as fundamental frequency of vibration or first hormone. In previous case, we had one single segment, but here we are having two segments. The distance of one segment is lambda 2 by 2 and another segment is also lambda 2 by 2. Therefore, the total distance between two segments will be 2 lambda 2 by 2. Here we get three nodes and two antinodes. The length of the wire will be L. Therefore, here we have L equals to 2 lambda 2 by 2, which implies lambda 2 equals to 2 L by 2. Let F2 be the frequency of vibration, then F2 equals to V by lambda 2. Substituting the value of V and lambda 2, we get F2 equals to 2 by 2L into root T by M, which is our second equation. This can also be written as F2 equals to 2F1. This is known as second harmonic or first overturn. Similarly, here we have three segments with a total distance of 3 lambda 3 by 2. There are four nodes and three antinodes, and the length of the wire is L. Here, L equals to 3 lambda 3 by 2, which implies lambda 3 equals to 3L by 2. Let F3 be the frequency of vibration, then F3 equals to V by lambda 3. Substituting the value of V and lambda 3, we get F3 equals to 3 by 2L into root T by M, which is our third equation. This can also be written as F3 equals to 3F1. This is known as third harmonic or second overturn. From equations 1, 2 and 3, taking the ratio of frequencies of vibrations, we get F1 is to F2 is to F3 that is equals to 1 is to 2 is to 3. Therefore, if the string vibrates in P segments, then its frequency is given by F equals to P by 2L into root T by M where p equals to 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on till n. Thank you for watching my video. If you like my video, please click on the thumbs up button. Do comment, do share and don't forget to subscribe as I will be posting more new videos so that you will get notified.